Welcome back. We were talking about long-term care planning and specifically the home. We, we discussed the life estate deed, a very simple technique to try to protect the home. I mentioned though that there is one minor pitfall with a life estate deed and that is if uh, mom or dad or the kids at some point while mom and dad are still alive decide they need to sell that home. And sometimes that happens. Mom and dad are out of the home because they're in a nursing home. That house is vacant. The kids are out of town. They say, geez, we don't want to keep the upkeep of that home. We want to sell it. That can be a problem with a life estate deed. What happens with a life estate deed when you sell that house with mom and dad are still alive is some of the proceeds get allocated to mom and dad. They have an interest in the home. They have that life interest that gets allocated to mom and dad. So you've undone some of the protection that you did when you did the new deed. In addition, and maybe more importantly, some of the gain on the property is allocated to the kids. So the kids are going to pay tax on some of the gain on that on that home when it's sold. Uh, whereas if they kept that house until mom and dad died, they get a step up in basis, they get a new basis in the property and then they sell it, there's no gain on the sale. So life estate deed works great if we keep that home until mom and dad pass away, step up in basis, no income tax. If that's gonna be an issue or we're not sure about that, I like an irrevocable trust better. We can create a lifetime trust put that house into that trust. Now the trust owns the property. We're gonna see life estate language in that trust just like we had in the deed that says mom and dad have the right to continue to live there for the rest of their lives. They still have the obligations of paying taxes and things like that. Uh, but now if at some point that house is sold while mom and dad are alive, none of the proceeds come back to mom or dad. It stays in the trust. All of the gain is subject to tax but because of the type of trust we have here, all of the gain is allocated to mom and dad on the sale. And that's good because it was mom and dad's principal residence. They'll get a $500,000 gain exclusion on the sale, maybe two fifty dollars if it's just one of them. So it's a little more positive, a little more protective, a little more costly to do an irrevocable trust on a life estate deed, but more flexible and, and better way to protect the home in our opinion. Yeah.